Hello everyone, how are you guys doing? So I've noticed in my comments that some of you have been asking me about the replay systems that are there or about the smooth camera or maybe the recording softwares so I'll try to explain all of them in this video so let's just jump to the replay systems right away there are four replay systems I know at the moment those would be the OPGG, the replay GG then the skin spotlights and the baron replays so the skin spotlights and the baron replays are both the tools that you download and you just run them and then after you play the game the games will be recorded for you in there the OPGG and the replay GG they are both the online tools so when it comes to replay GG you just go there you register there once and after every game you will get your replay online and that you can like download within seven days or something like that and then the OPGG is pretty similar but the difference is that before the game starts or after it starts within like 20 minutes you have to pre press the recording there so you go, go there you find your name you go to in-game info and you have to press the record button otherwise you won't get that replay unless someone else does that because you are not the only one that can like press the recording so if you are like following a korea player that you know you can just sit in that website and keep on recording the game every every time he is there so that's basically the way you can like get a you are replaced from pro players around the world. So keep in mind the fact that there might be the times that you won't be able to get your replay. There, even if you have like two or three softwares on, there might be the times that all of them will fail. It mostly happens after the patches. It's rather rare, rare to happen, but keep in mind that it can happen. When it comes to me, currently I'm using the replay gg and skin spotlights as once so i have like some sense of security but also when you want to record the pbe replays basically the only ways is to use the either skin spotlights or baron replays because the softwares that work online according to my knowledge don't have an option to record the pbe so the next topic would be the uh camera thingy the smooth camera so Right now you see I'm moving with um, with my cursor on the map and here here it would be with my oh, my arrow keys don't want to work but yeah you can imagine how the arrow keys work pretty similar to this okay and now you go if you want to make a smooth camera you have two buttons in here you go to hotkeys go to camera control and then you have the drag scroll lock and drag scroll so let's start with the drag scroll, we have it binded to mouse button 3 which is our um, wheel in here. So you, how it works, you basically press it and you hold it and then you can just like move around everywhere you want, like let's follow Tristana for a moment, that's how it works. So you have to press it and hold it and then when you release, release it, it will just stop. So yeah, it's like a huge difference, here with arrow keys and here with like smooth dragging and the other option is pretty similar to this is drag scroll, scroll lock that currently I'm using so you I just binded it to the same key you just press it once and then you just follow you don't have to hold it like in the drag scroll you just press it once and you can move it all around and then when you want to turn it off you just press it another time and that's pretty much it it really helps to make us smooth things and it's not like when I make a, like made for example longest echo queue video, I, I didn't click on a projectile, I just followed it manually like this. It just took me a few times to do it. But yeah, it's way better than just dragging on the map or just using the arrow keys. So that's probably the best way. So when I also want to talk about the recording software you can use. So the most popular would be probably like Fraps, OBS, the band Bandicam. So OBS is great for like recording on um, long gameplays and for streaming obviously that's probably the, the one you will use the most. Uh, then you also have the... and also the OBS is free, I forgot to say that. You have the Fraps and Bandicam, you probably would use it to just record like some short clips or prepare them for montage or something like that. But they need to... if you want to get them legally you have to pay for them. Then you also have another option, so when you have your graphics card, 
there might be a software that allows you to record uh, your video in there. So the best example is the NVIDIA Shadow Play, which is probably the best recording software I know. It just uh, gives you a great quality without losing performance during during the game. So it's for those NVIDIA users that have it. Also, if you are using like AMD graphics card that I am using, you may have the MAD Gaming Evolved app, and in there you can find your recording software as well that I'm currently using. It's not nowhere as good as NVIDIA Shadow Play, but it's still pretty nice and. Also, the both softwares for the NVIDIA and AMD are free, so it's great, you don't have to pay anything and you can make a good quality videos out of it. So when it comes to editing softwares, the most basic one that you may start with would be probably the Windows Movie Maker. If you are like a total newbie and you haven't made any videos yet in your life, that's probably a tool that you can check out. It's for free, probably on your computer, if not you can download it. You can check your like editing, learn some basic editing and try some things. It may not be spectacular, but you can still make decent videos in that. So then if you go to like more advanced stuff, you have probably the three I know is like Camtasia, Adobe, Adobe Premiere and the Sony Vegas. So the two most used softwares by the uh, YouTubers are of course the Sony Vegas and uh, Adobe Premiere. The Sony Vegas you basically pay once and you own it later on and then when the newer version comes you can upgrade it by paying a bit and Adobe according to my knowledge is like a subscription so you have you also have to pay every month for it so that's the difference and yeah these are basically the two that YouTubers use the most and the Camtasia is more like a tool for like I would say the presentations but some of the people are also using it that's why I mentioned that so yeah, that, that's pretty much what I wanted to tell you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed my video. Maybe I've explained you something. And if you have any replays that you record with like these softwares or anything, keep in mind that you can always send me them. I will check them and see if they are like worth uploading. So I appreciate every replays you guys sent me to my email I have in the description. So yeah, that would be it. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed and I wish you everyone a good day. So see you guys.